up down 2-1 to start the third, and you know, I think I referenced prior to that it was sporadic at best. We showed some spurts of you know doing things the way they're supposed to be done. And then I think the third period was a better depiction of it, but it also was a better depiction of CM. I mean, uh, so I mean, they're a good team. I think we're a pretty good team. So uh, we got even. We went ahead. They caught us. Then they went ahead. We caught them. But. All in all, it's pretty much a, a typical CMBC high game. We were just trying to keep the puck down low, and uh, Steve DeForge, I think, picked it up on the half wall, took it to the net, and uh, he got a shot high on the, uh, the goalie's shoulder, and I just picked up the rebound and put it five hole. Ever since I started playing for BC High, uh, I wanted to win that award, and, uh, and I just saw my teammate Mike Marsters win it last year, and it's just uh, such an honor to win it this year. Well, you know, the good thing is we're playing well for two weeks. The last two games we scored nine goals. Uh, you know, when you're down on the period, you know, we came back. All the coach and guys are going to start to, uh, you know, finish and do what they are capable of. Uh, disappointing in the way we, you know, played in our range of the ice, especially in front of our net. We weren't there physical enough. A couple of our guys, uh, you know, they went into a shell. They played uncharacteristic of how they played the first two periods. And that's just something that I've got to work on as a coach to get their mindset to the point where, you know, they've got to maintain that confidence. And they've got to just play that at that level the whole time. Uh, we're going in the right direction. I feel real good about, you know, playing ball at Catholic. I feel real good about playing the prep this week. And then we finish out with a, uh, you know, a real tough schedule. But, uh, you know, well, uh, you know, it's no fluke what we're doing right now. Well, it, you know, I just spoke to the trainer a little bit about it, and we're going to evaluate him a little bit more. Uh, it was definitely a, it was a collision between three players. Um, I don't think there was any intent to, to hurt there, but I think he just got sandwiched. But Chris Lillie is a kid that makes the play. We went on a two-on-one because he sacrificed himself to get the puck there, and that's just what he does. He plays hard every shift, and unfortunately with the style and the, and the effort that he plays with, sometimes it's injuries.